Question, are you a meat lover? What? Back in a minute. Hi, this is Jan for New York City, and my channel name is Jan for New York City Saves Money. How's everybody doing today? If you're brand new here, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you're a veteran viewer here and subscriber too, thank you, thank you, thank you. If you just drop a by to say hello, hello. Hope one day you come back and stick around. That would be really, really good. Are you a meat lover? Now, last week, I had given out two vegetarian crock pot from the crock pot dump recipe book meals. So this week I decided, well, how about for the meat lovers? And I picked out a couple of good ones. Now, the first one I might have told you about a while ago, not definitely sure, but you know, with over 900 videos in my belt, <laughs> but it bears worth repeating because it's so simple and it's so easy and best of all, affordable. So let me try to get the picture for you. Okay, this is going to be for the Yankee pot roast. There you go, Yankee pot roast. And it happens to be page 41 in the Crock-Pot Dump Recipe book. No, this is not a sponsored ad for the book. Just a good book. And I like to share a recipe. There you go. <laughs> All right, here's what you're going to need. Very easy. Three medium baking potatoes, about a pound, cut into quarters. Two large carrots, cut into three-quarter inch slices. Two stalks of celery, cut into three-quarter inch slices. One medium onion, sliced. One large parsnip, cut into three quarter inch slices. Two whole bay leaves. One teaspoon of dried rosemary. One half a teaspoon of dried thyme. One beef chuck pot roast, about two and a half pounds, trimmed and cut into one inch pieces. Salt and pepper a half a cup of beef broth. Combine the potatoes, the carrots, the celery, the onion, the parsnip, and the bay leaves, the rosemary, and thyme in crock pot or your slow cooker. Place the beef over the vegetables, season with salt and pepper, pour broth over the beef, cover, cook on low, eight and a half to nine hours. Remove and discard bay leaves before serving. This makes 10 to 12 servings. That sounds good to me. And you know what I like? That other than like the chopping up of the veggies, there's no pre-browning or anything like that. This is a dump recipe. I know it doesn't sound very pretty. <laughs> like you think a garbage dump or something like that. Just, it's easy. So we like easy and to get the same job done is good. Next, the next recipe we're going to do is called, let me get it right, ginger beef with peppers and mushrooms. Let's get a picture of this. Okay. That's the bottom picture, ginger beef and peppers with mushrooms. Okay. And that happens to be on page 39. Okay, ginger beef with peppers and mushrooms. Let's go. One and a half pounds of boneless beef, top brown steak, cut into three quarter inch cubes. <clears throat> Excuse me. 24 baby carrots. Don't you love baby carrots? They're so cute and they're so clean and they're so easy. One onion chopped. One red bell pepper chopped. One green bell pepper, chopped. One package, eight ounces of mushrooms cut into halves. One cup of beef broth. One half cup of hoisin sauce. 
one quarter cup of quick cooking tapioca, two tablespoons of grated fresh ginger, hot cooked rice, optional. Combine the beef, the carrots, the onion, the bell peppers, the mushrooms, the broth, the hoisin sauce, tapioca, and ginger in crock pot or your slow cooker. Cover, cook on low, low, L-O-W, low, eight to nine hours. Serve over rice if desired. Those flavor combinations sound really, really good. You know, I was only going to give you two recipes, but it strikes me that why don't I throw in the fantastic pot roast recipe, which is really, really easy. Anybody out there a little scared of making a pot roast? Have you like had fear and trepidations of doing roasts and stuff? The first easiest way to start off doing it, in my honest opinion, is in a slow cooker. It is a really forgiving way to cook. And it costs pennies on the dollar to operate. So it really is a winner. Let me get the picture. So this is called Fantastic Pot Roast. You're going to look at the bottom picture. There you go. And that happens to be on page 37 of the Dump Recipe book. This recipe is so simple, it's not even funny. Just saying, just saying. Okay, fantastic pot roast. Ready? One can, 12 ounces of cola. What? Yes. One bottle, 10 ounces of chili sauce. Two cloves of garlic. Two and a half pounds of boneless beef chuck roast. All you have to do is combine the cola, the chili sauce, and the garlic in your crock pot or your slow cooker. Add the beef, turn to coat it, cover, cook on low, six to eight hours. Serve with cooking liquid. This makes six servings. Uh, does this sound easy or does this sound easy? This sounds extremely easy and extremely affordable. You know, getting over to Thanksgiving for a minute, not everybody likes turkey. So there's, if you like beef and you maybe you prefer all the trim of Thanksgiving, but not necessarily the turkey, who's to say you can't have a pot roast? Who's to say you can't do the other meat recipes? Sure you can. I'm just saying, you know, and sometimes you could swap out certain spices and ingredients to your taste. So I think these are great ideas. I think they're all affordable. And best of all, they're super easy and you can do them. Hope this helps. In the meantime, this has been Jan from New York City. Thank you so much for viewing. Why? Because I really do appreciate who? You. Don't forget to come back in the future for some more savings, tips and tricks, and even some recipes. Going to try to close out the show. Notice how I say try. I'll be back with a wave. <laughs> it's always a gamble when I try to close out the show. <laughs> Have an amazing, fantastic weekend. Don't forget to come back tomorrow night at 8 p.m. for my premiere. I'm going to give you the stockpile update. Take good care, everyone. Have an amazing day. Bye-bye.